Langlois, LACSW, and I wanted to talk with you a little bit today in this video blog about a concept that many gamers are probably familiar with, and I think therapists would benefit from knowing about too. And that is the idea of a bio break. B I O break. And bio breaks are breaks that happen when people are doing long periods of gaming, either hardcore raiding, but they can also happen when you're playing by yourself. Usually what will happen is if you're playing a multiplayer game, you'll be doing a raid or a dungeon, and at some point the raid leader will say, okay, let's take a bio break, or someone will say, I need a bio break. So what exactly is a bio break? Well, it's probably not too difficult to figure out. It's a break to take care of some biological functions usually either grabbing a bite to eat or using the bathroom. But I think the idea of a bio break can be used uh, much more extensively. And it's a really good way to help gamers and uh, raider, raid leaders help the people in your raid to achieve sort of top performance and good self-care. And what I mean by that is bio breaks can be used for more than just drinking a glass of water or going to the bathroom. So one of the things we do know about sitting for long periods of time is that working out at the end of a day of solid sitting actually doesn't help in terms of increasing the lifespan of the person. Now, what they've noticed is that breaks throughout the day during the sitting actually is what makes the difference. And what that means is that having frequent interruptions like bio breaks are actually pretty useful in terms of maintaining our health, both physically but also I think mentally. So if you're a raid leader, one of the things I would encourage you to institute with your guild is a more conscious or mindful form of a bio break. And that's a bio break that you can use, uh, take for 10 to 15 minutes and do it every 45 minutes or roughly around the time it takes for you to down whatever boss you're downing. And, and if you're downing the boss and you do it earlier than 45 minutes, suggest a bio break then. Um, what you can do during a bio break, though, is much more than just drink a glass of water and much more than go to the bathroom. And what I would suggest is we expand our idea of what biological functions are to a much more holistic approach. And take my word for it, as a therapist, I make a living sitting for 45 minutes of every hour. And so I know that you can do a lot of things in the 10 to 15 minutes you have between those 45 minute sessions. So I'm going to give you the list at the end of the presentation, but I'm going to run down a list of some of the suggestions that uh, I have for you so that when you do take a bio break, talk with you know your, your guild about whether you'd want to incorporate any of these. You can also post it on your guild website for suggestions. So for a bio break, you can do a few things in 10 to 15 minutes. You could try walking around the block or walking around your apartment several times. You can do 20 push-ups or 20 sit-ups and if that's easy do more and if that's hard start with a little less. Um, you can drink a full glass of water 64 ounces. Now I know later on you're gonna have to use the bathroom but it's good to make sure that you're properly hydrated so when you take a bio break really drink a full glass of water. Kiss your partner. That's a biological function. Sexuality and being connected and related with people that we love does involve physical contact. So if you have 10 to 15 minutes that you're taking a bio break, make sure you really do get up from the computer, go to your partner if they're not gaming or if they are encouraging them to take a bio break and use the 10 to 15 minutes to actually get in touch with them and physically connect with them. Give them a kiss, maybe more. Um, you can also, during a bio break, play a quick game of hide and seek with your child. Bio breaks are long enough that you can actually interact and do something fun with a kid. And this time is really important. And if it's time for the kiddo to go to bed, you can tuck them into bed. But that's another way you can use a bio break is to actually spend some good time with your child between raid sessions. Um, do jumping jacks for two minutes. That may sound silly, but getting yourself some aerobic exercise is going to improve your circulation. And you know what? Improving your circulation is going to improve your ability to concentrate, focus, and actually help you improve your game performance. So when you're doing a bio break, 
really actually use the time to get yourself replenished, not just with water or using the bathroom, but actually doing some physical activity that's going to stimulate your body and stimulate your brain. Eat one fruit or vegetable of your choice. I know Hot Pockets are very tempting, but in the time that you go and microwave a Hot Pocket or two, you could actually grab, peel an orange, have an apple, pick a vegetable that you like, like a carrot or something else, and actually have something that's more nutritious um, and doesn't take a lot of effort to prepare. And you can certainly do that in 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you can run in place. Run in place uh, for 5 minutes, 10 minutes. It's some good aerobic exercise that can get you going. And it also is a nice change of pace from if you've been sitting and been sedentary. So another thing you can do for a bryo break is flirt. Remember how I talked about going and kissing your partner? Well, there's plenty of time during the bio break to do something flirtatious with your partner. Somehow talk with them or show them that you're still interested in them. I know this may seem like you know basic stuff for some people, but a lot of times people need an actual reminder that they need to sort of nurture the relationship in the moments between actually playing a video game or an MMO. Practice breathing meditation. Um, it's really easy to spend five to ten minutes during a bio break sitting and doing um, a breathing meditation. One that's really easy that I'll show you right now is to alternate breathing in and out through your nostrils, one nostril at a time. It looks a little silly, but if I can do it on camera, you can try doing it at home. And what you would do is you would put your nostril, close one nostril with one of your fingers, inhale through the other nostril, switch nostrils, exhale, inhale, switch nostrils, exhale. Inhale, switch nostrils, exhale. And repeat, I guarantee you that if you do that for 20 of the rotations of the fingers, you're going to feel a change in your brain, you're going to feel a change in your mood, you're going to be calmer. You'll probably actually be able to focus and be more present and attentive the next part of the raid that you're doing. Um, and then last but not least, a suggestion you can have for a bio break is to pick a pose, one pose, from yoga and try doing it gently. Now if you have 10 to 15 minutes that means you've got some time to do some stretching and then what I would suggest is you pick a pose from yoga that is easily available either online or they have decks of cards that show you positions of yoga postures and do one. Just try doing one and try holding that posture for about you know, five minutes and going into it and out of it. Make sure you do stretches, make sure you do it gently, and again, this is something you can do in the short amount of time that you have for a bio break. Now, raid leaders, I really would encourage you to have people take a bio break for 10 to 15 minutes. I know that seems like a lot of time, but in fact, if you think about how much time gets wasted with people failing and wiping in the raid because they're just not on their game, maybe taking 10 to 15 minutes where people can do more than just a glass of water and more than just go to the bathroom will help them be more focused and be able to concentrate and attend to the game at hand. Now again, this is something that you can do even if you're not playing a video game that's a massively multiplayer online like WoW, you can do this, set a timer, and do it for any video you game you play, whether it be Minecraft or something on the PS3 or something on the Xbox. So if you're a therapist, I want you to be able to know about the concept of a bio break, which is something that most gamers have an understanding of. And it's something that you can actually use as a conversation starter for a place that there can be some behavioral change. There can be something that helps alternate with what happens with gaming, which can be sedentary. So again, I don't want to pathologize gamers and suggest that everybody that's a gamer isn't doing some things that are active between you know, sessions of an MMO or between rounds of a video game. But I also think that sometimes people don't use bio breaks to the fullest extent they can. So if you're a raid leader, I encourage you to institute more mindful bio breaks for your raid. I bet you that you'll see an improvement in the guild raid's performance. If you're a therapist, I would encourage you to share this concept uh, or review this concept with your gamer patients and see if you can integrate some of the um, ideas for physical change and relational connection that I suggested, as well as maybe come up with some others of your own. So I'm going to show you the list again to refresh your memory on some suggestions for a bio break. 
and hopefully you found this useful. And um, until next time, this is Mike Langlois, LICSW, Gamer Therapist. Take care. Bye-bye.